What's good, man? My name is Jason, and this is DF Weapons. So, on this channel, I've only posted shorts. This is the first actual video on this channel. Usually, me you and know, my cousin do car content on a different channel, through Auto Havoc. And, you know, I got some guns. I was like, hey, man, like, I'd like to go shoot. I might as well start making videos on it. I got a friend who I went shooting with, and a couple of, you know, my cousin, whatever, taught them how to shoot a little bit better. And he actually vlogged it. I said, that's pretty cool. So, Figure, you know, I'll start making some gun content. So let's get into it. All the guns in this video are already cleared, but I'm gonna clear them on camera for y'all. But let's get into it, man. My 2023 collection. All right, so we're gonna be starting first off with the smallest caliber that I own. This is a Bodyguard 380. You see, there's no mag in there. Nothing in the chamber. Safe direction. So this is the model with the Crimson Trace laser. Um, the trigger on this gun sucks, but it's really good when you need some very, very, very low-key concealment. And, you know, the laser on it, I mean, it works. You know, it's nothing crazy. This gun is not fun to shoot, and it's not something that you want to put in a new shooter's hands, but it's nothing much, man. It's, you know, if you need a small gun to carry, this is it. You can put it in your pocket, whatever. So next up, Glock 22, Gen 4. This was a police trade-in gun, actually. Um, let me show you that it's clear. Move it to the chamber, no mag in there, safe direction. And I don't know if it's because this gun was really broken in when I got it, but man, the trigger on this for a Glock trigger is beautiful. I don't know if that's how all Glocks are, because I only own two right, well, technically three, but the other two aren't that broken in compared to this. When I got this, it was really dirty, has some rust right here on the frame. Got it off with a little bit of gun oil and, and a toothbrush and it was fine. I got the gun for like 300, a little bit over 300. This was a police trade in, you know. I figured it wouldn't hurt to have a 40, 40 is not too expensive. So I got this, put a nice little TLR1 on there. Comes with night sights on it and everything. So can't really beat it. I haven't shot this yet. So I'll be making a video on this in the near future, hopefully. But yeah, Glock 22, Gen 4. All right, up next we got a Glock 30 Gen 4. So yeah, there's nothing in there. Empty, boom, no mag, safe direction. And this is actually my EDC. I love this gun, but I don't carry it with the 10 round mag. I actually carry it with a Glock 21 13 round mag and an X grip, I'll show you in a second. But it ends up just basically being like a Glock 21 uh, with a shorter slide, pretty much. Got an Olight Balder Mini on here. And I mean, people get a slight hate, but I have one on this gun and one on my girlfriend's Glock 43X. Don't have any problems with it, man. I mean, laser holds zero pretty well. I'll show you real quick. Laser holds zero pretty well. It works whenever I need it to, and yeah. So people, people give it all lights. Hey, I don't really hate them too much. I only own two of them at the moment, uh, between this one and my girlfriend's. But you know, it's still it's a, it's a pretty good light for the price. And these are the two mags that I carry them with. So you see, it's like a little sleeve that goes on top of the mag. That's just a 13 round mag, of course. And then this right here is 13 plus 4, so 17 rounds right here, a 45. Can't really beat it. It's a little heavy, but I like it. And on the back of this gun, you can see I'm out the way. Um, got my nickname on the back of there. People usually call me Ferg or J Ferg, so I put Ferg on there, you know. And I got this for it. It was actually a gift from a friend for Christmas. But you know, the ATF ruling can't really use this unless you take this off. So I don't use this for this firearm. Um, but yeah, I mean MCKs are cool. I like the I like the concept of them. It's just I can't really see myself spending money on this now because you can't use this without having the pistol that goes in it registered as an SBR. I know they make some 16-inch barrels for like Glock 19s and Glock 17s for their MCKs. But uh, aside from that, they don't make them for this, and I really don't see the point of putting a 16-inch barrel in that. I'd rather just not use it. You could take this off and use it, but I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. So yeah. So right here, we've got a Smith & Wesson M&P 10 2.0 with a 4.6 inch barrel and a TLR9 on it. Let me show you that it's clear. Mm. Nothing in the mag well, safe direction. And honestly, man, this gun is for the price I couldn't be. I got it on Black Friday. I got it for like 50 bucks off from the gun store you go to. Um, has suppressor height sights, it's got optics cut the trigger itself is really gritty if you guys can see if I can make it right, so the trigger up until that point is very gritty so definitely need to get the apex trigger upgrade for this i do like it though because the back straps can come out take that out and you know like most smith and westerns you can change the back straps they come with different size ones i think this one is the medium large one 
Um, I honestly like the large one better, but the problem is that this piece right here gets more separation with the large one and it kind of gets caught in the web of your hands sometimes. So that's why I have this one on. But yeah, I mean, it's a really solid gun for you know what it is. I see that these do sometimes have issues cycling some uh, plus P ammo like bear loads. And that's actually what I bought this gun for, it's like bear country. So we will be testing this on the channel to see if it actually can cycle, you know, those uh, underwood ammo and, you know, things of the sort. All right, so up next, we got the last pistol, which is this right here. It is a Smith & Wesson m and 15 AR pistol. Of course, it did come with a brace on it, but as you know, the ATF ruling, got to take it off or register. I'm personally not a fan of owning NFA items for various reasons. So instead of registering it, I just took it off. Um, show you guys clear real quick. There's no magnet, of course. Nothing in there. Safe direction. And yeah, so this is actually one of the guns I bought on my 21st birthday. I love this gun. It is very loud. Is it practical? Not really, but you know, I like to carry it in the backpack and you know, it for what it is for, very useful. Got a nice little link M-lock uh, foregrip up there, curved foregrip. Got an M-Force WML light. Sig Romeo 5 red dot. It's got a silver arms folder. So it gets pretty small. And here I've got your bandages, but I have some sling point mounts right here. Um, I did have a sling on this, but I transferred it to my AK, so I will be getting a sling for this in the future, but this gun shoots some massive fireballs. I will post a video with this one in the future. Um, but I do have a friend that when we went shooting, he recorded, like I said, in the beginning of the video. So I'll put the link to that up top or something like that. So you guys can check out the flames from this gun. All right, so this is actually my most recent purchase. This is a SIG M400 Tread AR. So this is 16 inch barrel, of course, comes from the SIG factory with this Magpul MOE SOK stock. And it comes with this three prong uh, flash hider up front. And aside from that, man, yeah, let me show you guys clear. Come in there, boom, take direction. So the stock handguard on this one is actually a lot less vented. So it only has M lock slots like right up around this area. So this back here gets very hot. Um, aside from that, yeah, I switched this. I switched this out. So that's a Sig handguard that they make for this rifle. Then I put the Sig vertical grip and barricade stop kit on here. It has a Magpul RLS sling. This is a Sabato magnetic um, sling staging strap. Really nice. And then I have sling point up here. Another one in the stock. And aside from that, it's got a TLR Arm 2 on it. And right now, I'll just flip up sights, Magpul. I don't know which optic I want for this yet. I'm debating on either LPVO or a red dot with a magnifier. I'm not sure yet. Maybe even an ACOG, but I'm, you know, I'm still thinking about it. So for the moment, these uh, iron sights work. And yeah, a nice little pressure plate up here. And it's a really nice gun, man. This shoots super flat. All right, so right here we got a OD Green PS AK-47 DF3. This was actually a blemish edition. Let me show you how this clear real quick. Nothing in there. Safe direction, boom. So yeah, um, this is probably one of the few American AKs I'd buy, especially at the price point. The only thing that was wrong with it was this little score right here, but you're gonna get that anyways from sliding that safety mechanism up and down so you can see right there that's the only little mark that was on there otherwise this gun was perfectly fine when i got it but it was 300 bucks less so i'll take it but uh, i really wanted an ak and i wasn't really ready to drop money on a testava or something like that at the moment so i haven't even shot this one yet i want to give it a try but i've been more so into the ars and i just wanted to you know get an ak to fool around with initially so i will be getting the testava in the future but for this one i probably just put a little red out on it, it does have a little mounting point right here that I will be putting someone in the future but yeah PSAK 47 um a lot of people sleep on Palmetto State man they drop a lot of pretty decent stuff man yeah next up we have a Smith & Wesson MMP 10 this is a 16 inch barrel edition show you guys clear nothing in there safe direction so just like the SIG I showed you earlier this one also has ambi controls on it which is really cool 
Um, only thing I didn't like about this gun, I got it, I got it for still, so I, I couldn't turn it down. This gun, if you've seen like the MMP2 uh, two Sports, they have the plastic grips on it, that had to go. Um, so I free floated the barrel myself, and you know, so that was cool. I do want to put a muzzle brake one here. I want to put a bipod, and I'm definitely probably gonna put like a 110 LPVO on here and an offset red dot. As of right now, it just has flip ups. These are night sights as well. This has to go. I haven't done much with this gun. Oh, I hate this grip as well, A2 grip, but for the price point, I couldn't beat it for a 308. And I have a lot of stuff I want to do to this gun, but I want to get some other stuff first and get some other guns situated because this isn't a priority for me at the moment. But I do like this gun. Um, it'll definitely be a nice build in the future. So. All right, so last but definitely not least, we got here is the Mossberg 590 Flex Tactical. So you that it's clear, safe direction. So this chambered in 12 gauge, it has a 20.75 inch barrel. I really like this gun, one, because it has a six position adjustable stock, but the flex is because you can flex it. So you can pull this whole assembly off and swap it out for just this. So you can just have a grip like this. So depending on how you want to use it, that's up to you personally. I don't think that I would really use this much unless I guess need to put it in some smaller or in a small area, but it feels a lot better with the stock. Stock has a lot of cushion back here and it has also extra place for you to put more shells. And yeah, I also like this one over the Remington because of where the safety is as opposed to being like right here. But aside from that, it's a really solid gun. Um, their 500s are good too, but I just wanted a 590 because you know, the flex and I like the 590, but they're both solid guns, and yeah, so Mossberg 590 Flex Tactical. So hopefully y'all like that video. I will be dropping a lot more gun content coming up now, and if y'all have anything y'all want to see with these guns, let me know, but I'll be dropping more like range videos and stuff like that, but make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment.